The I3 allows for me and my family to go on adventures like we'd love to do. Extreme heat in summer or extreme cold in the winter has an impact on range. All vehicles need energy to heat the vehicle on the inside. In a combustion engine vehicle, the engine has to warm up and it will create thermal energy. And that thermal energy is then used to heat the cabin. An EV operates differently. It has an electric motor and the electric motor does not create the thermal energy needed to heat the cabin of the vehicle. The energy has to come from somewhere and would come from the battery that the vehicle would use otherwise for travel. So with preconditioning, we can send a message to the car with our BMW i remote app on our phone. And when we go to unplug the vehicle, the EV's battery and the cabin are both at optimal performance. It heated from the power that was connected by being plugged in. The effect of that is increased range. It can also be useful just for the comfort of the vehicle on hot summer days. So the i3 has something very unique. When I need to, I can actually do one foot driving. When you let off on the accelerator, it provides brake regeneration and takes that kinetic energy and transfers it to actually charging the vehicle's battery and that maximizes the range. Recouping of that energy can be modulated. I can coast by maintaining a neutral pedal or I can do a full regeneration and bring the car to a complete stop. My i3 is not a hybrid. It is a range extended electric vehicle. And the range extender is a two cylinder engine and a nine liter fuel tank. Just those 90 liters provides us an extra 150 kilometers of travel. And it's really just an accessory. It is not something that is attached to the drivetrain. When the vehicle gets down to six and a half percent of a battery state of charge, the Rex will turn on and it powers that little generator that generator charges the battery to maintain that six and a half percent. And when the Rex turns on, the transition is seamless. The dynamic range map is an overlay over the navigation that shows us what the range is for the vehicle. It actually is a very intelligent algorithm considering obviously the battery state of charge, but it also considers the traffic that is en route to your destination. It considers the topography or the elevation changes in your region as well. There's a white inner circle that shows what would be our driving range under comfort mode. Full use of AC, full acceleration if needed. Nico Pro would provide more efficient driving and more efficient climate control. And there's also a blue overlay that shows us what the driving range would be if we switch to Eco Pro Plus, which limits the top speed of the vehicle and maximizes the vehicle's HVAC. So it is not drawing power to heat or cool the cabin from the battery. If our destination is outside of our driving range, the range assistant will provide up to three options for us to get there. One of those options is to drive in the EcoPro Plus mode. The other option would be to drive the EcoPro Plus route. And the third option is charging solutions on the way to the destination. So three months after we bought our i3, we planned a family trip from where we live in Seattle. Over 14 days, we drove our i3 to the border of Mexico. At the one year mark, we had driven the car already 30,000 kilometers. 